every now and then, an industry goes through a technology disruption. With surgery, that's come with the introduction of robotics. At Intuitive, we continue to push the envelope to make surgery better. I've been working in robotics for the last 27 years. The thing that most excited me was the day I got to sit down and drive a Da Vinci. Uh, it's hard to beat that. Never did I think that I would be working to design a technology that would help save my life. I'm Ted Rogers, and I'm the Vice President of Imaging Advanced Development at Intuitive. I run the team that develops camera systems for our products. Part of the system is a 3D robotic camera that goes into the body and allows the surgeon to see what they're doing. As humans, uh, we use all of our senses, right? We use the sense of sight, the sense of smell, the sense of touch. Surgery has sometimes hampered that full sense of engagement and interaction. As you've gone through the continuum of surgery, in an open procedure, surgeon has the ability to use full dexterity of their wrists. They can see the surgical site in 3D. Now they have to make a large incision so they can access the appropriate anatomy. And these large incisions can be a challenge for recovery time for the patient. In laparoscopic surgery, the minimally invasive approach that followed, you actually have to move your hand up to move the tip of the instrument down. Left is right, down is up. And so the surgeons have to have this mental remapping as they're looking at a 2D screen, and the dexterity was completely lost. So when we came in and said, all right, we believe that a robotic-assisted approach will be much better, our first mission was to give back 3D vision and dexterity inside the body. We're proud of what we've accomplished over the last 24 years. Da Vinci systems have been used in more than 7 million procedures, and we have more than 5,000 systems installed worldwide. The whole point of the robot is to minimize the invasiveness of the surgery. So we're using instruments that are only about 8 millimeters in diameter, about the size of my pinky finger. Now we're starting to focus on how can we show the surgeon things they can't see with their own eyes. So today, the Da Vinci system has what we call Firefly, which is a near-infrared imaging system that the surgeon can use to visualize certain structures, like the bile duct during a gallbladder surgery, or judging blood flow during a colorectal procedure. This is just one way that we can help the surgeon gain more information about the structures that they're working on during the surgery. In April of 2017, I was diagnosed with aggressive prostate cancer. I was 48 years old, and I faced the prospect that I might not be alive by the same time in the next year. Is this the last time that I'll ever go sailing? Will I get to see my kids grow up? Will I outlive my dog? I was fortunate to get an appointment with one of the top prostate surgeons on the West Coast who also happens to use our robotic-assisted systems. I have two daughters. They saw me go through my own surgery and how, for as major a surgery as that was, how much of a non-event it was. Went to the hospital one morning, came back the next. <laughs> Having a family and to feel the love and connection that we all have for each other, it is really the most meaningful thing in my life. I think about the world that my kids will live in and whether my work will make that world better. But unfortunately, during prostatectomy, there's still a possibility of having residual cancer left in the body. That's what happened to me. At Intuitive, we talk a lot about improving patient outcomes. That concept can sometimes become abstract. Well, my experience says that this is no longer something abstract. Surgery is a good thing, cures a lot of people, but there's a ways to go before you can say that it's perfect. My own experience has given me greater insight into what's it for? Why is it important? Ted will never do anything half-assed. He's always been that way. And him having a Da Vinci surgery really added a renewed focus to the fact that our job is not done. I think that we're still sort of in the early stages of robotic-assisted surgery. 
We continue to envision what the future might be by improving outcomes, by helping surgeons treat their patients more quickly, more comfortably, with better precision, with more information. There's something just electrifying about that, right? Because you realize that if you can contribute to that, then you're actually changing the world.